Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Dear viewers, as many of you are aware that I was not well for quite some time and was not able to further record and publish new videos. However, the kind of support and love shown by you all helped me to actually recover much faster than I could have. So a big thank you to all of you. Though I have not met or seen any one of our viewers, but I remember each one of you who keep sharing their valuable comments and feedback. From this video onwards, you'll be getting the regular updates as before. I will even start my physical training to get back even stronger and with your love and support will very soon be super fit and strong. On this note, let's start today's video. The Akash missile is 96% indigenized, one of the highest proportion of indigenization. It can track and destroy the targets flying at an altitude of 18 km from a range of 30 km. The system can be used against wide variety of aerial threats such as fighter jets, cruise missiles, air-to-surface missiles and ballistic missiles. The Akash SAM utilizes an integrated ramjet rocket propulsion system which after initial rocket motor burnout provides sustained thrust for the missile throughout its flight until interception. It can be fired from both tracked and wheeled platforms. Akash missile has over the year evolved and there are multiple versions of this missile system. The latest one being Akash Prime. As for the latest report, the Akash Prime has undergone multiple firing and trials in order to validate the effectiveness of the missile. The trials were conducted in realistic operational conditions and multiple aerial targets were simultaneously engaged. Akash Prime was able to successfully neutralize all the aerial targets proving its metal as a short-range surface air missile defense system. The test of Akash Prime was conducted by Sapt Shakti Command for four days. The test has validated the accuracy and various components of SAM defense system such as command and control system, onboard avionics and aerodynamic performance of the missile. Each Akash battery consists of four self-propelled launchers, a battery level Rajendra radar and a command post. Two batteries are deployed as a squadron in Air Force while up to four form an Akash group in Army configuration. One battery of Akash has four launcher, which gives the capability to engage four targets simultaneously. Each launcher has three missiles, which means each battery of Akash missile has a total of 12 missiles in ready-to-fire condition. The kill probability of an Akash missile is 88%. However, with two missiles launched at an interval of 5 minutes, its kill probability becomes 98.5%, which is pretty impressive. Indian Air Force in total has 13 squadrons of Akash in service and two more ordered on 9th July 2021. The Indian Air Force has deployed Akash at its bases in Gwalior, Jalpaiguri, Tezpur, Jorhat and Pune. At the same time, Indian Army has two regiments ordered with deliveries starting in 2015 and completed in 2018. Two more regiments were ordered in 2019. The Indian Army had also deployed Akash Air Defense System along the line of actual control in Ladakh during the standoff in the year 2020. The Akash missile system has several variants. The first version is called Akash Mark I inducted in 2010. The Akash Mark I was further upgraded to feature an indigenous pulsed Doppler radar seeker. This seeker was successfully first tested on December 5, 2017. The seeker has further improved the performance and accuracy and target tracking of the missile. It supports the combination of both command and active terminal seeker guidance to enhance the single shot kill probability. The Akash Prime, which underwent its maiden first test on September 2021, has the same range as that of earlier version but has an indigenous and improved active radio frequency RF seeker for improved accuracy to hit aerial targets. Other improvements in the system ensures more reliable performance under low temperature environments at higher altitudes, especially in LSE. 
These new addition have been made after receiving feedback from Indian Air Force and Army for deployment of systems to provide air defense cover for vital installations in sensitive areas in high altitude regions. On January 2021, DRDO had conducted the successful maiden launch of Akash NG or New Generation Missile. Akash NG, which is a new generation SAM, primarily designed for Indian Air Force with an aim of intercepting high maneuvering aerial threats that have low radar cross section. Along with increased lethality of striking threats with significantly small RCS, the NG version has an extended range of 70 to 80 kilometers. It is sleeker, lighter, and has much smaller ground system footprint. The RF seeker of NG version operates in microwave KU band. The second stage of Akas NG uses dual pulse rocket motor, which is lighter than air breathing solid ramjet engine of earlier version of Akash missile. Due to lower weight, the missile can carry more fuel, which increases the overall range to 70 to 80 kilometers. Additionally, Akas NG is canisterized, which means it is stored and operated from specially designed compartments. In the canister, the inside environment is controlled. Thus, along with making it transport and storage easier, the shelf life of weapon also improves significantly. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.